All right, greetings. All right, thank you for joining us. All right, this is the chat portion of the webinar. Uh, yeah, thank you for posting your questions and uh, happy Thanksgiving for those that are in the Thanksgiving mood. <laughs> Uh, uh, Pamela, are there any messages for me? Uh, you have several archangel energies around you at this time. They're assisting you, of course. Uh, just helping you with longevity to uh, to uh, accomplish what you're here to accomplish. Any messages from my guides? Uh, just helping you with self-confidence and saying the words that you need when the time is right. Uh, Gunyam, any messages from my main guide? Uh, just do what you feel like you need to accomplish currently. Just uh, There's also some kind of moving energy. Maybe not now, but there's definitely some kind of timeline of uh, moving locations. I mean, you can always turn down that timeline, so... Any messages from my higher self? Just, uh, yeah, I just have a, some kind of sense of accomplishment. Just find what, you know, find what you need, to, you know, because it's just like, not that time is running out, but kind of. <laughs> it's just uh, set your mind on what you want to do that you feel like you're actually, you know, spending your time wisely. Uh, Carol, any messages for me? Uh, I just feel like you clear out some distractions so you can connect more to yourself. But also, you you can probably feel like your healing energy is around friends and family. It's going to get stronger over time. Any messages for me from my stepfather who crossed over in 1978? Uh, yeah, he, f he feels like he could have been more open-minded with you or felt like he was kind of shut off. So... Uh, I guess you can say he didn't know what to do with you, so, uh, but, uh, yeah, he's, you know, he, he wanted to be a better father, let's put it that way, and, uh, he learned a lot, but he knows he has a lot more, more ways to go, though. Oh, he shows me, like, unicorns, I think you're connected to unicorns. Uh, Rachel, Akashic, what do I need to know? What do I need to do to get my promotion? Or a new job. Uh, well, you're, you're uh, contracted with your job now. So, you know, I guess you can say it's like ability there. It's, um, yeah, you just kind of remove blockages. Yeah, that's, that's kind of a tough one, actually. Is, it feels like you have to, you know, fulfill what you need to do there before you can even find a new job or a promotion. So just go with the flow of it. Just, uh, yeah, keep putting the energy for a promotion or a new job. Or for the new job, just keep looking for something new. Uh, what is the origin of my soul? Uh, at least for this galaxy, uh, serious. We did definitely spend a lot of time of... Uh, and Orion. Uh, yeah, uh, in the angelic realms, that's where you started out as, but uh, as just an energy being. But uh, you definitely got pulled, attracted to the cat uh, frequencies early on. Uh, Jane and May, I'll be joining a group traveling to Heritaria and. Bosnian pyramids. Uh, are there any messages? This eighteen day journey. Oh yeah, it's gonna be gonna be fun. Tartaria. Did they find Tartaria? <laughs> or they're just saying they found it or uh maybe it is real there. Uh, but uh no it's feels it feels like it'll be very relaxing. And you might feel like a like a out of body experience. Maybe not. Well, you, you know, maybe not a, a full fledged out of body experience. But uh, you probably feel like you're uh, kind of light, light energy there, uh, for you to kind of like floating around. Are there any messages concerning this part of the world? 
No, um, it's a lot of Atlantean energies there. So, you say the founders of Tartaria, so. Is uh, Indian energies, you know, Indians of those times, those, you know, what they would call Indians from those times. Uh, oh my God, it's Moses. What are Archangel, what is Archangel Michael and Gabriel both? Why are Archangel and Gabriel standing by my side? Do they have a message for me? Why are they? I mean, I mean, probably because you called on them. Uh, they're. Well, they help you be strong during uh, the health situation with your wife, and also just to help you with your uh, finances and just direction. It will definitely there for your kids, but just there for your family overall. Just there to give you guidance, basically. Any messages about my daughter and son? Um, uh, his son feels like he's strong in math. I'm not sure how strong he is, but it feels like something about math you'll understand over time. Daughter has a decent uh, social skills. Of course, they might be really young still, but I just thought the daughter would be, you know, how to move a room, you know, get things you know, get things moving for herself and the son. Yeah, I feel like he's going to be kind of closed off a little bit, but that's okay. He'll still accomplish what he needs to accomplish. Uh, you can help him be not be such an introvert. I feel like he has some of that. And the daughter just, uh, you know, just keep conversations going with the both, basically. Learn about them. Uh, Mia, does my higher self have any messages? Uh... Well, you're just wor worrying about this reality more, as you can see, your know, manifestation abilities. But right now, just, uh, you know, be thankful for what you have and keep yeah, manifesting what you want to manifest. Definitely keep focusing on that. Is there any messages for me from the angels? Just, uh, I get the energy. Glad you're still here. It feels like there's, you know... Still much to learn here, but you know, just be easy. just don't be so hard on yourself. A lot of times you're kind of beating yourself up. Uh, Miguel, any messages about my finances? Uh, just focus on you know prosperity. Just continue to do that. I think it's because you're who you are as an angelic energy. There's forces trying to slow you down, but just clear it out. You know. Any messages from the angels? Uh, they do say 2024 would be a challenging year. Not necessarily for you, but of course every year is challenging in its own way. Uh, you'll know what they're talking about. But uh, overall, uh, yeah, you might even start feeling how you are connected to other people in the angelic realm. It's probably has some idea of it now. Most likely it'll start to open itself up how it kind of angelic work you're really doing. Well, they'll show you what they need to show you. Uh, Chris, today my Mercedes started making strange rattling noise, and no, it's not. I don't know, not a mechanic. Be a problem with the gearbox. Uh, it feels like it's engine related. Um, maybe it's not getting enough power, but yeah, just, uh, you know. It looks kind of serious, though, yes. Any messages from about my spirit growth? <laughs> uh, just, you know, it's not a hurry. I don't know why. I mean, you're going, you're going well, but, like, you know, focus on, like I say, the physical stuff that you're dealing with with your car. Realize also your, your intuitive abilities can only see so much. Like a car has all these mechanical pieces, a lot of noise. There you can see. It's hard to pinpoint through your intuition exactly what it is. It's kind of like the car itself, you know, like the, the car is like it's all talking. And yeah, you can clear out the noise. Maybe you can tap into exactly what's going on. It just feels like it needs uh, like a tune-up is what I'm getting. But maybe you already did that. But anyway. But just, you know, you know, just there's some, you know, 
So like some people are similar to like the car, like you can't always pick up on their vibrations clearly because there's a lot of noise in their energy. Give you some kind of uh, insight into how that works. So it's hard to read people sometimes. Uh, we're doing good though. Jess, uh, what insight messages Archangel Gabriel have for me? Uh, just keep clearing your energy and just you know, kind of like step back from the drama. Just clear out the drama from your energy field and so you can connect to what's best. So you can manifest what you need to accomplish what you're here to accomplish. What does guidance this higher self have for me? Just uh thankful and just like i said if you're having a unsettling energy around you like a roommate you put the energy to clear that out and attract something new and also financial help too so just yeah just clear out your cl clutter any type of blockages so all right uh thank you everyone for posting your questions all right uh all right blessings